Here's an eclipse card for the eclipse. Well, it's a variation of an eclipse. I'll show you what I mean. Coming up next on Catherine Paper Art. This video, I am making an eclipse card and that is going to feature an eclipse. So it is an eclipse card with an eclipse. And I bought, I bought a moon set just from Amazon and I got, I, I have an older set with a sun on it from Amazon also. I bought a new set from Amazon, but they didn't send it. So I'm gonna cancel that one. But anyway, um, this, this moon is pretty cool because it's um, got some dimension to it and it's a two piece moon, which I haven't glued it yet, but I, I inked up the moon in Altenew Evening Gray and Moon Rock. And the sun I inked up with Pink Fresh, Lemon Whip, Sunshine, and a little bit of Sweet Mustard. So um, these will be the base images. And now because it is going to be an Eclipse card, the sun will be lower and the moon will be higher. And I am going to position it not as the full eclipse, otherwise I wouldn't need the sun really, right? So, um, but I'll, I'll uh, position it somewhere probably like that on a base. So that's where I'm at right now. So I will go ahead and glue this and get my base and layers and be right back. I've printed up a background to show the planet and it has the path of totality on it. Not that that's important, but anyway. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I've taken a standard A2 size piece of cardstock and I'm going to um, just mark some edges here and then I'm going to ink up around the outside to indicate outer space and these are where the sun and moon will be. So I'll start inking and be right back. I've inked up my panel and I went over my sun with a little bit of the unicorn ink from Hero Arts just to tone it down a little bit. Um, and I've run multiple copies, die cuts of these, both of these um, heavenly bodies. So now what I plan to do is take my background and cut out the sun because as I said, I'm going to sink the sun and the moon will be sitting on top. I don't want the sun to just be flat though, so that's why I've got multiple copies to sit behind the background. And so it will be something like this with the sun behind and sunken. And you get the idea from that. So I'll be right back. So I heat embossed my sentiment in, uh, in white. That's a Stamping Bella um, Good Vibes sentiment. If you're familiar with uh, the eclipse at all, if you've been listening to or watching or reading about the eclipse, you may be familiar with the rockets that NASA is supposed to be shooting off 
at the moon, and that's purportedly to, uh, one of the reasons is supposedly to raise the resonance of our planet. Uh, anyway, so vibes kind of relates to that. So anyway, um, now I will uh, stamp the inside sentiment, and I'll be right back. Okay, so here's the finished card. Um, I don't know if you can see, it might be hard to see, but the sun is recessed and the moon is raised and the earth is flat. <laughs> so I, again, I heat embossed the sentiment here and on the inside it's, you make a difference. And that is from the Beautiful World stamp set by Hero Arts. Um, and so that's the Eclipse card. Well, it's a version of an Eclipse card uh, for the Eclipse. It'll be a total Eclipse on April the 8th, supposedly. Now, obviously, I didn't make it a total Eclipse card because... It wouldn't be very interesting to look at a dark planet and a moon blocking the sun in its entirety. But um, it's an interesting card, and I hope you like it. So please leave us a thumbs up if you did. Thank you.